We're going to start with our business goal. Before we even go near Google Ads, before we log in to anything, we're going to start by just thinking about what is it that we want our business to do? That's probably a dumb question. It's probably a very obvious question. We've talked about the two main types of business, lead gen or lead generation versus e-commerce, selling physical products. Again, if you have an e-com business, you're selling physical products, there are additional options to you. And whenever you hear me talk about leads, you'll think sales. I think the majority of people that run Google Ads accounts will have a lead generation business. They are some form on their website. They're trying to capture a name and an email address, maybe a phone number, maybe some extra details from people that come to the website to say, hey, let's have a chat and let's talk about working together. So you want to start by first thinking about, well, okay, how many additional leads or sales do I want? How many additional sales does my business need? And then how much am I willing to pay to acquire that new business? It would be lovely if uh, everybody just knew about our businesses and they just came in the front door one day unbidden and said, hi, I've heard about what you do. I would like to buy your services or your products. The reality of the situation is, unless you have an incredibly well-known brand, that probably isn't going to happen in your business. doesn't happen in my business either. We have to advertise our businesses in order to find new people that want to buy our services or our products. So we need to start thinking about how much is it worth to us to go and buy a new client or a new customer. We're going to call that CPA or cost per action. You might hear it termed cost per acquisition. How much are we willing to spend to acquire a customer? That is a very, very important metric to, metric to know. And there's really two numbers here. There's what's the maximum, what's the tolerable, the most I could possibly get away with paying, and then you're gonna have a target. So my maximum tolerable amount might be say $200 for a new client, but I'd love to be able to get them for $100, $120. First, we're going to focus on the max tolerable amount because if we can't begin to get leads for that sort of amount, then we're never going to be able to get them for the, the, what you would really love, the $100 in this case. So we'll start by thinking about that. Now, there's a little bit involved in that. You might think of a number straight away. You might have to do a little bit of digging. You might have to start thinking about, well, how many new customers do I want each month? How much profit do I need to make from that to make this worthwhile? You, it, I can't walk you through that. It's different for every single business. But at least start by having a couple of numbers in your head. How many extra leads do we want each month? Maybe it's 10. And how much are we willing to pay for each of those leads? Knowing that, we probably won't get that number straight away. With a new Google Ads account, remember we talked about optimization in the last video, it's a constant series of tweaks and adjustments to get the most out of a Google AdWords account. That means what we start with is not what we end up with. We shouldn't therefore expect our first Google Ads account to be profitable week one, probably not even month one, frankly, but you're going to get things set up we're going to go through exactly what you then need to do to keep improving things. And some of our students have gone through and made amazing changes. They already thought they knew what they were doing. They already had an account set up. And just with a few simple changes, they've chopped that cost per lead in half, that cost per acquisition, cost per action. Whatever you call it, CPA, CPL, it's all the same thing. Cost to acquire a new customer. So. Get clear on that. And then obviously those two numbers times together is going to be your initial budget. So if you need 10 new clients and you're willing to spend 200 bucks on each, then you need to have two grand set aside each month to tip into your Google Ads account. Now, some of our clients spend hundreds of thousands of dollars per month. Gasp. Why would they do that? Because it's profitable. Because they know their numbers. Because we're tracking what happens. Remember, cash comes in outcomes come out the other side. And the reason that they continue to spend hundreds of thousands month after month after month is because they know for every dollar they tip in, 
they make five or seven or seventeen dollars. They know their numbers. We're going to get to that point. It's going to take a little bit of time, but we will get to that point. To begin with, just think about how many leads, cost per lead, total budget. That'll do for now.